some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. of everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jiu-jitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. This fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Just misses with that one. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, nice job by him there to move into half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound immediately. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. That can't feel good. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Can't take many of those, you better check. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Ooh. Nice punch, Lance. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? <laughs> Doubles up on the jab. <laughs> Beautiful leg kick thrown. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. It won't take many of those. Right hand landed. Good shot. Good shot. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head 
or he's going to get blasted. Both fighters get up now. Nice punch lands over the top. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. He got him. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Watch the shot. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, big punch land. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna from the clinch here. Nice trick to get the takedown. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. That's a big strike right there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Swing and there's the miss by Choi. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. Big power shot there. That was a thudding leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Big leg kick lands. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at the control of the posture as he land that deep. 
Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Take him down, cut. Take him down, cut. Over and over to secure this takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Fighters back to their feet here. Good stick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Single collar tie now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big kick lands. Tags him with the left hand. Visibly limping here. Right on the button. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. The record is on repeat. Wash and rinse over and over again. It's takedown after takedown. Ten minutes in the books. Hey, stop! All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike. Oh, huge right hand! And just like that, the fight is over! Holy smokes! What a fight! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 17 seconds of round number three. Join the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl. No shutting that.